Hey guys, Garen9 here, and welcome back to my channel today. Sorry this video is out a little bit later than normal, but I did have a final today, so I had to go ahead and study and take that instead of playing. But now I have finished that and have had a chance to complete the Challenge of Elders, and I can go ahead and make this guide, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, first let's take a look at the modifiers that are going to be active this week. So first we have Brawler, which increases the melee damage done by the Guardian. Secondly, we have the Super Bonus Points modifier, which grants more points from Super Kills, and because of this, I would would definitely recommend having a couple of hammer titans or storm callers on your team to maximize your points and finally we have the modifier ironclad which makes enemies that don't usually have a shield spawn with one so overall these are pretty easy modifiers definitely maximize your points by getting as many super kills as you can melee damage is increased but i would recommend actually going for precision shots because you get more points for those and just as much super energy but overall you guys should have no problem hitting the 30,000 mark this week so the first boss is going to be the Vex Overmind Minotaur. All of you guys should be familiar with this fight. It is the same as before and still very simple. Just remember that if you have this spotted debuff on the left side of your screen, then just get behind cover or you'll be put in a containment bubble temporarily. Other than that, I would just focus on getting a lot of precision and super kills this round to earn a lot of points. The second round is again another returning boss, and this week it is going to be Psylocke the Defiled. Again, this is a super simple boss. His only mechanic is that he shoots the flaming circles on the ground that last quite a while. This round is actually quite difficult, but only because the Acolytes spawn with Void Shield, so I would definitely recommend that you have a powerful Void Weapon to help you take them out. Now, finally, we have the third and last round, where you will be facing the last new boss for the Challenge of Elders, Noru Usk. This boss is a Cabal Taken themed boss. Like most of the Taken bosses, he really doesn't have any mechanics. As far as I can tell, he can only shoot Axion darts, actually. Um, I only got to face him once because of all the Caterpillar errors going on with Destiny servers today, but it was a very easy fight, so I don't think you guys will have any problems at all. I do uh, recommend that you guys pay caution to all of the ads. There's a lot of ads that he spawns, but like I said, he really doesn't have any big mechanics. So that is going to be all for this week's challenge of the Elder's Guide. Like I said, I was not able to get my rewards this week because Destiny was plagued with server errors. Um, I don't think you guys will have any problems this week. I just wanted to go ahead and get this up so you guys know what lied ahead. I hope you guys do have fun this week. If you find this guide useful, make sure to leave a like rating. Click the annotation on screen to watch that video if you have not seen it yet. Finally, if you are new, make sure you guys subscribe for more awesome Destiny content, and I'll see you guys in my next video.